Good afternoon, all. Thank you so much for joining us uh, here at, at uh, Riddle Hall at Queen's University for the beginning of this Global Peace Leadership Conference. Uh, just uh, as uh, Tony mentioned, uh, actually, uh, my, my recent family uh, immigrated here from here in Ireland to the United States. My grandfather immigrated from County Wicklow. And uh, so I'm one of those many millions of uh, uh, Americans and others who have a, a linkage to the Emerald Isle. Uh, as, as a uh, proud Irish American, I sometimes joke that this is the one place in the world where I get to use my full name. See, Jim Flynn is very common, so therefore I want to use my full name, which is James Patrick Flynn. And so uh, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. I, I consider this a very special and, and important place. I'd like to thank our, our uh, uh, co-sponsoring partner, Cooperation Ireland. Uh, our, our work with them is, is very, very meaningful. Uh, we, we consider it uh, essential that we be able to work in partnership and, and collaboration uh, in a multi-sector way. And we're particularly uh, grateful to, to uh, Barry and Alan and others at Cooperation Ireland for the work that we're doing uh, together. And uh, I especially want to thank each and every one of you uh, for spending your time, which we know is, is very, very valuable, for you spending your time to be here. Actually, in this room is an incredible wealth of experience, of wisdom, uh, of insight, uh, of, of uh, uh, an understanding of peace processes uh, from so many different parts of the world. Uh, so I, I do uh, uh, sincerely appreciate uh, each one of you for spending your time in being here. Uh, we have experience and wisdom and on the ground practitioner uh, help uh, insight uh, from Africa, from the Middle East, from Southeast Asia, from the US, all here in this room. And uh, so we, we look forward to some very, very meaningful discussions over the next few days. Uh, because your time is valuable as ours, we want to actually use this time as much as we can uh, to learn from each other, uh, to gain insights into how we might address together in a more effective way. Uh, the top challenges that face our world today, which are very, very serious challenges. Uh, yesterday, we had uh, many of our uh, international uh, participants uh, who visited Belfast for the first time had a uh, really uh, meaningful opportunity uh, to learn about the circumstances here uh, in Northern Ireland, uh, to visit uh, the, the, uh, the neighborhoods and the communities uh, that have wrestled with profound issues for decades. We also heard from uh, significant leaders who shared very poignant, really moving stories of their own personal journey, challenge, and, and effort uh, to find hope, to find a way forward, to find uh, a pathway to peace. And as we visited those places, I, I thought this is a, an extremely uh, unique and important environment and, and uh, place to learn. But I also thought and realized, and I expect that you would agree, uh, that around our world, uh, those same kind of stories, those same kind of challenges, perhaps with a different narrative, uh, with different details, but underneath are the same kinds of challenges, the same kinds of issues. And I think you would also agree, because you're here and you're doing the work that you do, that uh, uh, from one lens, uh, we see the challenge, we see the, the, uh, the great, great intractability in our world, where uh, the challenges, the problems, the, the, uh, uh, the mind-numbing uh, inhumanity in our world seems to be so, so overwhelming. And yet, from another lens, to see the power of the human spirit, to see individuals in so many different kinds of circumstances, working to transform tragedy into hope, working to uplift the, the, the people, the, the families, the communities uh, that they serve, uh, presents such an incredible inspiration. And so as we discuss uh, the important challenges that we face together, 
uh, we are we're looking to zero in on how we can magnify that light, how we can create synergies that enable us to more effectively uh, push back uh, those, those uh, tendencies within our human experience which are so tragic and unjust, and that we can work together uh, to make an important difference. The Global Peace Foundation uh, works in 24 countries. Uh, our, our approach uh, is a values-based approach because we believe that first and foremost, we must have uh, a vision of how we can live and work together. Uh, we believe that our diverse and pluralistic world can be bound together on the basis of simple shared values, that our common humanity is the baseline of who we are, that when we engage with people from around the world, uh, there's different languages, different religious traditions, different cultural backgrounds, but at essence, the, the, uh, the essence of our humanness is something that we share. And the, the heart and the spirit of who we are as human beings is something that binds us together. Uh, in the many, many languages of the world, uh, we need to uh, have obstacles to understand each other. Uh, but when we feel joy and smile and laugh, we need no translator. When a, when a mother or father, a, a son or a daughter is feeling the anguish of loss with tears streaming down his or her Face. We have no need of a translator. We know that heart and spirit, we can resonate with that. And so uh, we believe in the Global Peace Foundation that, that um, this 21st century offers a time of great opportunity if we use the tools of our time uh, with, with a renewed sense of uh, ethical commitment, responsible leadership, uh, a determination to work together uh, to elevate the experience and the circumstance of our entire human family. We believe actually that, that uh, uh, to think like a catalyst, right? So uh, the efforts that we can make together, uh, any one organization or any, any, even all of us here together is in some ways quantitatively very small. But a catalyst uh, has the, has, is, has the nature of bringing a dramatic change, even though the quantitative, the quantitative uh, contribution may be small, the qualitative impact is much greater. So I believe that all of us here are catalysts, are change agents that can make a significant difference. And I hope over the next uh, few days, we have the opportunity to uh, engage uh, deeply and meaningfully in discussion and dialogue on these important issues that we might be able to work together more effectively to make a positive contribution to our world so much in need uh, of lifting and, and uh, honoring our common humanity. Thank you very much and we look forward to uh, very, very uh, rich and meaningful discussions together. Thank you.